friend, friends, I brought in those rocks that I found in the garden and the um, magical leprechaun formula. And um, I had a um, little St. Patrick's Day flag in my yard, so I brought that in to put it underneath. And I put a, a clear baking uh, pan um, under on top of the flag so that way we can see what happens. So I put, let's put one of these into the dish. And I wanna look at that rock. We were learning about rocks the week that we got out for spring break. And so we learned that there are igneous rocks, there are sedimentary rocks, and there are those metamorphic rocks. And when I was looking at this rock, I don't really see any real layer upon layer upon layer that I could think that it would be a sedimentary rock. Do you think it's a sedimentary rock? And I'm not really seeing how um, it would be an igneous rock so that leads me to believe that possibly it's a metamorphic rock. What do you think? We'll zoom in on. Remember a metamorphic rock is made by pressure and heat and it changes other rocks into new kinds of rocks. So it does look like it's been kind of like had pressure put on it. So I'm not really sure. All right. I should have taken the lid off of the leprechaun formula before I started filming. So I'm gonna set the um, camera down for just a minute and then um, I'll take the lid off of the magical leprechaun formula. Did you hear it open? My goodness. So the formula is like kind of green. Oh, I love how Liam put like this ribbon on there that has shamrocks on it. Shamrocks are another um, symbol for St. Patrick's Day. Now, when you do experiments in the lab and you're uh, using uh, liquids, you use what's called a pipette. Um, or like a little dropper, but I don't have any of those at home, but I do have um, like my turkey baster that I use when I'm like making turkey or when I'm basting chicken. And so I thought, well, hmm, that's kind of the same thing. So I'm going to put, I'm going to pull some of this magical leprechaun formula up into the turkey baster. Can you see it? Now, before I put it onto our leprechaun rock, I want you to make a hypothesis on what you think is going to happen. A hypothesis is what scientists use. It's their best guess. They look at things, they think about it, and then they make a best guess about what they're gonna think, what they think is gonna happen. That's called a hypothesis. So what is your hypothesis about what is going to happen when Miss Owens puts the leprechaun formula onto the rock. Are you ready? Okay. I, 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 I do not even know what to think, but let's go. Oh my gosh, what do you see happening? Do you hear that bubbling? That fizzing? Look. What in the world is happening? I'm going to get some more of that right behind you. Friends, do you see something inside of there? I see something. Do you see something right there? Oh my word. Let me add a little bit more. My word, what is that? What is that? What is that? Friends, do you see what I see? That's 
a gold coin inside of that rock. Let me wash that. There was a gold coin inside of there. Oh my word. You know what I was thinking about when I saw that? Look at that. I wonder if those tricky leprechauns, that's one way that they can keep their gold safe. You know what I was thinking about when I saw this? I was thinking about those geodes that we looked at la um, when we before we left for spring break. On the outside, the geode just looks like a normal, really boring rock. But when you crack it open, there are all of those beautiful, beautiful crystals inside of it. And those geodes were metamorphic rocks, weren't they? And we, if you predicted, if your hypothesis was correct about what would happen to this rock, I am so excited for you. And I think that we were right thinking that this must be a metamorphic rock. Liam left several rocks inside this little leprechaun pot. So the very next time that I see us, that we're all together, I'm gonna bring um, this leprechaun pot to school and each of you can put the magical leprechaun formula onto the um, leprechaun rock and see what's inside of your rock. What happened, there was like a scientific, exciting, scientific thing happened when we added that leprechaun formula onto the rock. There was a chemical reaction. Did you see that? That chemical reaction. As soon as we started putting that formula onto the rock, it started fizzing and bubbling and it changed, didn't it? The rock changed. All right. Well, that was super exciting and we want to tell Liam, um, thank you so much, Liam, for um, bringing us this surprise today. That was an awesome St. Patrick's Day surprise.